Welcome home, baby. Hey, baby. Come here. Mm. How are you? Ooh, I'm good and I like what I'm seeing already. Trust me, you're going to love it more when you taste it. So. Oh. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome. Nine years down, and it feels like I just met you. Aren't you sweet? Come. Mm. Let's eat. No, come here. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking you right to where you belong. No, you cannot have dessert before the main course. Who made the damn Let's rooms? Eat. Oh, and I haven't had a dessert before. What? Oh. Dessert before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> come here. Oh. Drink one. Drink one. I mean, there's something new for us to practice tonight. What? Are you? I'm mean, serious. You know, I am the inventor of for these Wait, different after positions. Wait, nine years. After I, that's what makes me excited because no every time I come up, so I come up with new positions for you. Don't even do that. Yeah, a new one will mm. hurt. I mean, just kind of spice some things a little bit more. Like this? Oh, you know that's my favorite position. You can't do that to me. <laughs> Who is this? Um, Who's that, baby? Um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's work. I told you to take the day off. Yes, I, 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 I did, but well, I'm sure it's an emergency. Maybe I think you should just switch your phone off. Oh. Come on, would you switch the phone off, please? You know, I actually need to take a leak. Maybe I'll just... Uh, Okay. Maybe hurry up. Hello? Peter, what is it? I thought I told you that I took today off. Why are you doing this? What do you want? You know what I want? I give you everything. Are you sure you can stand the consequences then? Look, Victor, please, I beg you in the name of God, don't do this. Please, I beg you. Keep him out of this. Are you coming or not? You know the consequences of not. Okay, okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Oh, babe, I... Is everything okay? Yeah, it's the hospital. There's actually an emergency and I need to be there. Baby, I... I thought you, you said you took the day off. Yeah, yes, I, I did. Um, but, but right now they, they need an oncologist and I'm like the only one who... Baby, who this can, is so not fair. I'm right. so sorry. But this is so mom. not yeah. fair. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. Please, our anniversary. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. Mm, I love you. I'll be back. I promise I'll be back soon. It's okay. Mm -mm. I love you. I love you too. Mm -mm. I love you. I'll work some, okay? Okay. Promise. Um.
Hello? Yes, this is she. No. No, no. Hello, hello? No, no. Angelica, what is it? No. Audrey. 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 What happened to Audrey? Audrey! No! Angelica. Audrey, no, 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 Audrey, no. Oh, God, no, 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 Audrey. I'd like you all to give answers to. And who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I am Detective Tunde from Kwaza Division. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to all of you. Well, that can wait till tomorrow. I don't think anyone can answer your question right now. <laughs> it's all right. I am sorry for your loss. It's okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I am Detective Tunde from... What do you want? Madam, we want to help you find the killer of your sister. You need to be strong, ma'am. You see, I understand your pain. But you have to help us get justice for your sister. No one deserves to die the way she did. the last time you saw her. Why are you doing this to yourself? I just can't help it. I know. Remember I've been there before. Yeah. Look, thinking about it will not change anything. Even if anything, it's just only going to worsen your chances of taking in. I'm just very worried. I don't know how long you can take it. Who? Simon? He loves children so much. Then you guys can adopt the child. That's if you cannot wait for God's time. Besides, it's not entirely your fault. Well, the society doesn't think so. Oh, please forget about the society. Ah. What is it? Ah, um, it's nothing. It's um, this um. But your face says differently. <sighs> that reminds me. Can, can you loan me some money, please? Ah, uh -uh. I promise I'll pay you back at the end of the month when I collect my salary. Audrey, this is what time in two weeks that you want to borrow money? What is going on? Reduce your voice. 
Did she take the call? No. She did not, but it was concerning the hospital where she worked. So I I doubt that very much. Bye. Tell us you are coming. So that is the greeting you're supposed to greet your mother. Mom, welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mom. Mm -hmm. Angelica, how are you? <clears throat> Sorry, you. I heard about your sister's death. Yes, Mom. Mm -hmm. The world itself is not even balanced. It's not fair. How does a young lady like that die and leave his young son motherless? I don't get it. And then you, that has never carried any child in your womb before, ever, you're still here, standing in front of me and I'm looking at you. Mom! Mom, please stop now. Eh? Why would you say that kind of thing to her? I, I didn't mean it like that. I wanted to say, look, the world itself is not fair. And you're not being fair to her right now. Okay, just, just, just look at to, it. Where are you going to? Mom, please, uh -uh. please, mom, I beg you, please. Stop! Mom, please, I beg you, just let her be. Please. Keep quiet. Keep quiet, take my bag inside and go and tell her to come out and make food for me. I came from a very long journey and I'm hungry. No, those two are like your hungry all the way from the look, 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 look at him, look at him. Like father, like like son. You would have just told us. Mr. Ted, why did your wife leave the house so late that night? Was there a fight? No. No. Oh, officer, are you, are you insinuating we that? We are insinuating nothing. Okay? We just want to know why she left the house so late and why you let her go out alone. Yes. And if there was not a fight, whatever reason she gave must have been very convincing. Yes, it was. seeing already. Trust me, you're going to love it more when you taste it. So. Oh. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Mm. Thank you so much, my love. You're welcome. Nine years down, and it feels like I just met you. Aren't you sweet? Come. Mm. Let's eat. No, come here. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking you right to where you belong. No, you cannot have dessert before the main course. Oh, man, the Be damn rooms. Oh, and I haven't had a dessert before. What? Oh. 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 Oh.
something new for us to practice tonight. What? Are you? I'm serious. You know, I am the inventor of for these Wait, different after positions. Wait, nine years? After nine years. That's what makes me excited because no every time I come up, I come up with new positions for uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't even do that. Yeah, a new one. Um, more hard. I mean, just kind of spice up things a little bit more. Like this? Oh, you know that's my favorite position. You can't do that to me. Oh. Um, Who's this? Um, Who's that, baby? Um, it's it's it, it's it's work. I told you to took the day off. Yes, I I I, I did, but I, I'm sure it's an emergency. Maybe I think you just switch your phone off. Oh. Come on, just switch the phone off, please. You know, I actually need to take a leak. Maybe I'll just uh, talk with them. Coffee. Maybe hurry up. Is it? I thought I told you that I took today off. You know why? Why are you doing this? What do you want? You know what I want. I gave you everything. Are you sure you can stand the consequences then? Look, Victor, please, I beg you in the name of God, don't do this. Please, I beg you. Keep him out of this. Are you coming? Consequences of not. Okay, okay, I'll be there in ten minutes. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's the hospital. There's actually an emergency and I need to be there. Baby. I I thought you, you said you took the day off. Yeah, yes, I, I did. And um, but, but right now they, they need an oncologist and I'm like the only one who Baby, this is so not fair. I'm right? so sorry. But this is so mind. not fair. Yeah. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise, please. It's our anniversary. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. Mm, I love you. I'll be back. I promise I'll be back soon. It's okay. Mm -mm, I love you. I love you too. Mm -mm. I love you. I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Promise. Um, and <laughs> It was the last time I laid eyes on my wife. We are really, really sorry about that. But why didn't you offer to take her to the hospital? Officer, my wife was. She was a seasoned nurse. Getting calls late at night, uh, going to the hospital late, was nothing strange to us. It was something we were used to. So that night, was like any other night or any other day she got called to go to the hospital. I see. Um, but, well, did you notice anything strange before that time? Daddy, where's mommy? Come, come, come here. Look, um, officer, please, I have to tend to my son. Sure, it's all right. Um, that's all right. We'll take our leave right now, but 
we'll get back to you if there's anything to report or if we have other questions for you. Okay, officer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ted, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Um, how is Daniel? Oh, poor boy. Um, how are you two coping without Audrey? You know, she's such an amazing person. Do I? Yes, baby. Uh, yes, Ted. Can you, um, can you come back some other time, please? Well, you know, come on, see. I'm here. To see Please. You. Okay, it's fine. But do not hesitate to call me if you need anything, okay? Hmm? It's fine. I beg you to me. Audrey, Audrey, Audrey. <laughs> Dad. What? I. Oh, okay. All right, don't worry. I'm, I'm coming right now. I'm coming right now. It's what Daniel. Is it? Daniel. There's an emergency in the house, and Daniel is not feeling well, and I have to go. Okay. <clears throat> Just take it easy, okay? you going to? Out. Out. So that's how your mother trained you to be answering your elders when they ask you a question. Out. I am going out, ma. I am going out, ma. I have been in this house since. You have refused to check on me. You have refused to do anything. I have been the one taking care of myself and taking care of your house. Look here. I wouldn't have minded though. If you had had grandchildren for me to keep me busy, pium, 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 I will be pursuing them up and down. So I will keep myself busy and why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why did I now say that you are crying now? Eh? Hey! You're walking out on me again. What did I do? Give me grandchildren, you cry. You don't have a womb, you cry. What is it?
Amen. been taking care of yourself. I'm lost without her. Me too. Um, where's Daniel? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Ted, you have been drinking. I don't know what else to do. I, I, I... I miss her so much. It's okay. I miss her so much. It's okay. It's okay. Relax, okay? Just breathe. Relax, okay? doing here? Uh, I'm here to see Ted. Oh, Ted. I know how hard Audrey's death hits you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I haven't been able to come around since after the burial. No, it's fine. I totally understand how and how good she was with you. Oh, yeah. She was such a good friend and a colleague. We all miss her. And Ted, have you had something to eat? I'm hungry. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I might not know how you feel right now, but I definitely think you need something to eat. You need to be strong. Daniel needs you. Okay? You know what? I'll go in and get something to fix so he can eat, okay? And then take care of this place. Oh, you really do not have to. No, don't worry. Okay? Okay, we'll start from here. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I guess we have to clean up the place. Um, Thank you. Why don't you just relax? How are you? Fragile. Very fragile life. <laughs> Look, I don't want you to think that I hate you. I don't hate you. All I want is for both of you to live a legacy in this life. Mom, please stop. Not now. Stop what? I don't understand. Why are you warning me now? What did I say that you're not warning me? Eh? Look at your big head. Keep defending this, your barren wife. When all your mates all over the world, they are changing pampas, flipping pampas, flipping pampas, all over the world. Mom! Do you even know the color of pampas? Please just stop! Stop! You're talking about my wife! Ah. <laughs> oh! You're talking about your wife? <laughs> so your mother is talking? Look at, look at. When, 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 when they call men now, you will come out and say I'm a man. Talking about what about we talking about your children? Talking about my wife. Talking about my wife. I have the guts to say, hey, babe. Don't you even know what you people are calling? Hey, babe. Ted, are you in there? Ted, please open the door. 
I made food for you and I put Daniel to bed. Dad, please open the door. I'm sorry. For what? About my mom's behavior. <laughs> and then I... I have to go on an official assignment tomorrow. What? You want to travel? and leave me and your mom in this house. I, I can send you away if you want me to. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> Before you say that, I don't like your mom. Oh, Why will you send her away? Come on now. Come on. What is it? You want to leave your mom here? You know how it is with me and her. Okay, fine. Please, just tell her to avoid me. Please. And I'll mind myself and mind my business. Daniel needs his aunt alive and out of jail. Please, let's just both <laughs> mind our business. I don't want. Leave me. I'm serious. You know how Come your mother is job, with me. But you baby. know what you know what she Come does on, to stop me. Being how can you be traveling now? Now. Now that your mother is around, you want to leave me alone in this house with her. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Okay. Please. But you know. It's okay now. Oh, yeah. mm. Stop now, baby. You know I'm traveling tomorrow. Eh. Mm. What was that? Oh. Ah, Angelica. Good oh, afternoon, man. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, hi. What a surprise. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, I was around the neighborhood, so. I decided to check up on you. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Wow. Welcome. This place is looking nice. You've done well for yourself. Thank you so much. You've improved. <laughs> A lot of improvement in this complex. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, have you heard from Ted? I've been trying to check up on him, you know, but he's not opening up. So I don't know. Is he okay? Uh, um, Ted is fine. Can I have his number? Uh, no, you know, Audrey was my very good friend, you know. So, you know, it won't be nice if I don't check up on them from time to time. Oh, oh, sure. Why not? Let me just get my phone now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. 081. 081. 72. 72. Five nine. Five nine. Two six. Two six. Three five. Three five. Thank you so much. It's not <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate. Um, it. You don't want to. No, no, no. Don't worry. I will come back and you know get some things for myself. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> no yeah. problem. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye guys. Bye Bye. Well. Hurry up with that thing you're doing. Oh, 
Avant de tout le temps. Ici, tu job. Hmm? Angelica. Hey, tu n'es que moi. Si, instead of you wasting time to go and prepare another thing that you will eat, invest that time in preparing other things. Like babies. Yes, babies, Angelica. You have been married to my son for three solid years. And any woman who is intending to give her husband children, three years is enough. By now, your stomach should be protruding and big. But I am not God. I am not. Oh, that's the point. Honestly, you're not God. Because women in your lineage find it very difficult to give birth to children, to conceive, mm -hmm. carry belly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let me give you a little autobiography of you. Your mother married your father. It took her 18 solid years. Hey, hello, hello. 18 solid years to give birth to you and your twin sister. And as soon as the stomach was coming out, your father died. Bam. It didn't even end there. Oh. Your mother, Nko, she went to the labor room to give birth to you. As she got there, she pushed you and your sister out. She died. She did not use her eyes to see her twin children. Now, let me digress. Your own twin sister took her five solid years to give her husband a child. And when she did, what happened? She died. Angelica, you're not going to die here. When are you going to give my son a child? Oh, is, is it going to take you five years? 10, 18, like your mother. You're a very mean woman. You're very mean. <laughs> Look at her. That's all she does. You're a very mean woman. You're very mean. Let your womb be mean and carry a mean child. And give to me. I like it like that. You're a very mean woman. You came to eat the food that I cooked. I cooked. Come and eat it. Don't go and have children. I'm coming. Please just, just make him stop. Ted, you have been drinking. Just make him stop, please. Just make him stop. I love you, you love me, we are one big family, we're two 
great big hug. Kiss from me to you. Wouldn't you say you love me too? I love you. You love me. We are one big family. Would you please be God? Kiss from me to you. Don't you say you love me too? Ted. 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 Okay. Yeah, take. Drink it. What is that? Coffee. Take it. What? Take it. No. No, mm -mm. no, 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 no. You're not taking that again. Take coffee. Take your damn coffee. Drink this one. It's going to help you. I don't want to drink coffee. You will drink it, please. Drink, drink, drink. Finish it. Come on, let me You have to finish it. No, drink. no, no more drinks. Take this one. Take it, take it. Take, take, take. Finish it so you can go and take your bath while I clean up this place. Finish it, finish it. I just want to sleep. I don't want to take any shower. You will take a shower. You have to take a shower. Go take a shower. Clean up this place. Go, 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 go. You know, Audrey really loved you. So much so that if she saw you like this, she would be really sad. I miss her. I miss her too. I, uh, I never imagined life without her. You know, no one will um, ever wish to lose a loved one. But you know what they say? Life is not fair. I miss her so much. I really do. It's okay. And you're right, life isn't fair. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, 
Just eat your food and then try to get some rest, all right? I need to go home. Daniel needs you. Daniel needs you too. Well, I will just be a phone call away. I need to. You haven't eaten your food. No, I'm. I'm fine. I don't. Please ensure you eat your food and have some rest. Right? Thank you. It's me, Angelica. Please, and then the door. Please don't mama me, oh. That is where you're going to stand till your husband comes back. You're going to be there. Excuse me? Excuse yourself, Amana. Excuse yourself. Please don't put this on. Let me come in. I'm very <laughs> tired. <laughs> Please don't put this there. I'm very tired. Please don't put this door. Let me come in now. Please shut up here. Ah, uh -uh. You stand down of the house. Look at the time that you're coming back to your husband's house. A married woman. Look at the time. 10 o'clock. 10, 10 o'clock in the night, oh. In my village, 10 o'clock is 12 midnight. Amana, I am not opening the door. Oh, what kind of nonsense is this now? Can you open this door? This is my husband's house. <laughs> husband's house. Amana, this is my son's house, so oh. I am not opening the door. Ma, open this door now. Come on, open it now. Stand there till your husband comes back. What kind of nonsense is all this one now? Huh? Eh? Eh? Is it gonna? I'm gonna open this door. Nonsense. Ndiwagi nonsense. I'm gonna walk. Ndiwagi nonsense. Your family nonsense. You will stay there. You're not coming in here. Seven, can you, seven, don't, don't even do this. Can you just put this call? What is all this one now? Uh -uh. Whoa. Oh, Simon, can you just pick this call for goodness sakes? Hello? Hello? Simon, your phone. So, sorry, what? Um, sorry, who are you? Is that really cheating? Hello? You Hello? serious? Angelica, are you there? This serious right now? Stop calling me. What is it? Why are you calling my. Easy, Angelica. Hi, hi, Dad. So, sorry, I. I've been calling you. Sorry, I, th I thought it was. I don't feel so good. What? I don't think. I, 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 I don't think I can. Look, I, I can't oh, go on. Oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm coming right away. I'm coming right away, all right? Okay, do, just, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, okay? Ted? What's going on with you? You know you can talk to me, right? I never... I never planned for life without her. I miss her so much. I'm so broken. I can do anything, just anything to have her right here with me. What will happen to your son, Daniel? That's why I called you. I, I need help. I need someone to help me. 
I don't want to hurt myself, but sometimes the feeling is strong, it's overwhelming. I just don't know what to do. You know you're very lucky, right? At least you're able to mourn my sister. My only family. But my mother-in-law won't just leave me. And now Simon is also I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Being with you just eases, eases my pain. Being with you just suits my broken heart. You're so perfect. You are so beautiful. I miss you so much. I, I love you so much. I miss our life too. I miss, I miss our, just everything about you. I, I miss our fight. I, I miss you. I miss you. I just want you right here. Right here with me, baby. Please, can you just okay. come back to me? It's okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything is just so hard every time. You remind me so much of her. I mean, everything about you. Your... Your scent. The strength of your scent. Your voice. She's everything about you. Um. Even your breath. Your breath reminds me. Reminds me of her. Can't um, stop it. Please don't go. Just don't leave. Just stay. Stay with me, please. Just, just stay here. I, I, I need you so much. I, Ted. I, 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 mean, yes, I, I know I, I, I miss you so much. I just, I just want you here with me. Please don't go. Come on, just, just stay with me. You know. Please don't go. I need you right here with me. I just need you right here. I need you, please. Don't go, just stay. Stay with me. Stay with me, please.
Amen. to check up on you and Daniel. So, how you be doing? We're fine, we're fine, thank you. Um, this is not really a good time. Can you come back later or just some other time, please? Ted, you see, I just wanted to... T.Y., please, just um, come back. It's not a good time, please. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. It's fine. Angelica, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from, Angelica? Where are you coming from? Eh? Are you happy now? You have succeeded. So you're happy. Are you not know the one I'm talking to? Angelica, you know the one I am talking to. Look at you. Very own cook child. Your parents did not train you at all. You're not well mannered, nothing. I am I am very sure that is why Jesus does not want to give you one child like this, one begin, because you're going to transfer all this, your ill manneredness. Into him or her. Look at you. Look at, look at, look at, look at her. Nonsense. Carry belay. Let your womb carry a child. No. Nothing you want to carry is pyom 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 walking up and down. Like this is your death. Nonsense. Hi, girl. Uh -uh. Good afternoon. Yes. Oh, good afternoon. How are you, girls? Oh, Hi, hi, Tiwa. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> this is like the second time you're coming to my place in a week. Now you're making me feel like I'm your best friend. Oh, but not like Audrey. <laughs> May her soul rest in peace. Amen. But you're my new best friend. Yes, yeah, so tell me, when can I apply? <laughs> um, did you come with someone? So, no? Why? There's no. No. Never mind. Okay. okay, so I'm here to take you out for lunch, so... Wow. Lunch? No, don't say no. Don't give me any excuse. I'm actually waiting for a customer. But I can't say no to your offer. Oh, darn, great. <laughs> so, shall we? <laughs> All right. Mr. Ted, we've been trying to reach you for a while now. How are you holding up? Um, uh, I miss my wife. Uh, we miss her. Officer, is there a problem? Did you find anything new oh, on, yes. The, yes, on the did. case? Yes, we did. 
Um, do you know anyone called Victor? Victor. Victor. Victor, that's that's the name my wife called on the on the phone the night she was murdered. She said, uh, Victor. Would you know where your wife was going to the night she was murdered? I mean she she got a call and then she said she had this emergency at the hospital and, and then she left the house. I see. I see. Um I'm sorry to ask this. Was your wife having an affair? Affair? Officer, why would you ask a thing like that, my wife? You see, oh. Victor is the last person that your wife called that night. And we confirmed from the hospital and they said your wife was not supposed to be on duty that night. And she was not called in at any time of the day. Oh, officer, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, what my wife and Victor, you, you, you mean they well, had... You see, the, the thing is this. You see, Victor is a notorious criminal. He's on the most wanted list of the police. In fact, he's been, you know, he's dealing with armed robbery, blackmail, kidnapping, and even drug-related offenses. What? So we are thinking that it could be because of some misunderstanding between them. That is why he murdered your wife. I don't. What possible business would my wife have with a c criminal like Victor? I'm afraid we don't know. But we will find out. But first, we need to find Victor. in a very long time. That's nice. I'm <laughs> glad that you did. <laughs> and thank you for agreeing to come out with me. No, 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 no. I should be thanking you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, um, thank you. Uh, Angelica. Yeah? Can I ask you for something? Sure, why not? Um, is Ted seeing someone else? Ted just lost his wife. How can you ask me such a question? You see, the more reason why I'm asking. I went to his house the other day and I noticed some... Forget. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, right now I really don't even know what to think or to say. I'm sorry that I asked, okay? I'm so sorry that I mentioned it, so sorry. Okay, it's it's fine. Oh. All right, fine. So I better to take my leave now. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I'll thank see you. you some other time. Thank you once again. All right, bye. I'm so grateful. Bye. Yeah. Mm. Hello, mom. Good day, huh? Ah, good day. Good day. So have you found my sister's killer? No, but we have a lead. Okay, who? Victor. Victor? Yes. Victor? Yes. Who is that? You don't know who Victor is? No. And what does he have to do with my sister? Well, all we know for now is that they were involved. He was the last person that she called the night she was murdered. I don't understand. What does this mean? Madam, she was your twin. 
if there's anyone that she will tell things that she will not even tell her husband to, that person is you. You're, you're very right. My sister tells me practically everything, but I'm surprised because she has never mentioned any Victor to me. None that I know of. Are you sure or maybe you need time to, you Detective, know... Detective, I just told you that my sister has not said anything about any Victor if he was very important or if he meant anything to her. Okay, did she ever say something like being blackmailed? Yes. No. But she was tremendously demanding for money. And, and when I asked her what she was going to do with it, she said, um, what did she even say? I, I can't even remember, but it was not important. It was not something serious. What, what exactly is going on? Well, nothing can be stated categorically at the moment. But all pointers indicate that this victor of a guy has been blackmailing your sister. Possibly they had a misunderstanding and he decided to murder her. Exactly. You see, madam, I want you to be very careful. If you notice or hear anything, please let me know immediately. No, of course I will. I will. All because right. I don't... It, it's all right. Um, sorry for your no, time. No, 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 it's fine. Thank you so much for your Do time. Do have a nice day. I, thank you. Have a nice all evening. Right. Thank you. All right, madam. Mom, please stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <boy. laughs> so just because I quarreled this girl yesterday, where are you coming from this late? Suddenly now she starts carrying her shoulders up like Mount Everest. That's if Mount Everest moves. She can't even listen. You can't talk, she will walk away from you. Um, babe. Can we talk? I'm really sorry I didn't take your calls. Honestly, the woman who took Just your calls... save it! Simon, save it! Your mother has done enough to me. The least I can take right now is lies from you. So just hush and save it! You just hear me out. Hear okay. what? I had a terrible day trying to fix my nephew and his father. In one piece. And then I come back home. My mother-in-law locked me out of my own house, my husband's house. I called my husband and another woman picked. There's no other what woman. What the hell are you talking about? Tell me, Simon. What the hell was she doing with your phone? What? Simon, what was she doing with your phone? You know what? I'll just leave this house for you and your mother. Hey, please stop. Babe. Yeah. Simon. I have never seen any human being this proud with puffy shoulders and on top of it all barren. 
I don't get it. Barren, puffy shoulders, puffy shoulders, barren. Mom. How does that work? Eh? You can't even talk to her. As soon as you begin to talk to her, she, pium, she will just walk away from Mom! you. Mom! Now go get your things. You're leaving my house right now. I'm taking you to the airport. Bia? Yeah. Simon? Who are you raising your voice at? You're leaving my house today! Today! Hey, Simon. You're sending your mother out of your house? My mother has done nothing more than caused me more trouble. Tension and frustration. I want peace! I want peace in my house! I want peace! And if sending you away is going to give me a little bit of that, then it's about time you leave. Now go get your things and I'm taking you to the airport right now. No, don't forget that. I'm not feeling fine though. I no. came to go to the hospital. I don't care! Okay? I don't care. Just go in there, pack your things, and I'm taking you to the airport. Okay? Simon, I cannot go back to that big house and stay alone. I've said my own. Mom. No. I came to go to the hospital though. Hey! What has this girl given my son to eat? I, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? This girl has given my son something to eat. I, I have to plant something. I have to do something. Listen, I am not having an affair. I'm talking to you. Look, then. I am not talking about this right now. But oh, I'm just... Babe, please. Angelica, stop. Going on, where's Daniel? Dan Daniel is fine. And I I'm sorry I made you come here under the pretense that he's not. You, you didn't say goodbye, you left without saying goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Daniel is actually fine. Daniel is fine, but I'm not. You shouldn't do that. You were not picking my calls after the last time. About that? I miss Stop you. Stop it! Stop I it! I want you. Ted, stop it. We cannot do this. Don't say that. Come on. Stop! Last time was a mistake and we're not going to do it again. Stop it! Jeez! Welcome me before asking me that. Okay. Welcome. And what are you doing here? Mama said I should come and take care of my nephew and whatever you might need. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Brother, you have really emaciated. I hope my being here will help cheer you up. I'm sorry. That is um, how it's been for a couple of years. Oh, so. Great. Hi. Um, we have some guests. Oh, hi. Good evening. Hey, This is um, Aladi and his wife, Eva. We work together. Oh, hi. Yeah. We also went on the last official trip together. In fact, uh, the night you called, uh, we were together, and Eva was the one who took your call. Yeah. I, I know this seems out of place, but I had to do all I can to prove to you that I'm not doing anything stupid with other girls. I'm sorry. I actually did not mean to take the call. But you've been calling repeatedly, so I had to take it. But you came in before I could say much. We are really sorry for the misunderstanding we have caused you both. We honestly hope this will help you be able to sort it out. We are really sorry. Sorry. Babe, I love you. I love you so much, babe. I have never, I will never cheat on you. I love you too. I am sorry I, I wasn't there for you when mom did all she did. No, it's fine. It's nothing. It's... I, I took her to the airport. Are we good now? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yes, we're good. <laughs> um, um, sorry, sorry. Please, if you'll excuse me. I need to just drop the bag and. I hope you're comfortable. You want something else? No, no, yeah, no, uh, no, do you guys want something no, to drink? Can like, I just change and I get something for okay. you. Are you sure? Yeah, I can see that. Thank you. I love you, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for saving my hands. I really I appreciate it. I don't do this for you, what that price for. Thank you. and everyone knows I'm married. I miss you. Are you listening to me? What do you expect me to do? You don't pick my calls? Look, I know you miss my sister and I know you see her in me, but you need to stop this. I see you, Angelica. My sister not Audrey. was your wife. Was my wife. Can you just respect that? I want you. What's wrong? Let me ask you one question. If my sister was alive, and you found out she was sleeping with Simon, what would you do? Hmm? Exactly my thoughts. Do to others what you want them to do to you. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was you. How are you doing, bro? Hi, babe. Hi, How are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm really, really sorry. I haven't come to check up on you as much as I should. No, it's my bad. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. Angelica has been doing a, a great job. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's good to know. So, um, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to see uh, Angie. Uh, uh, pick up something. For Daniel. Oh, Daniel, yes. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, what about you? Um, yes, um, <laughs> I, I am here to surprise my beautiful wife, you know. It's oh. her birthday in a couple of days and <laughs> I thought I should come cheer her up, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I know Audrey. And no, it's uh, fine. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I will just uh, leave you to to uh, oh. do whatever you came to do. You know, I, I have to take my leave. My okay. daughter. I will surely say that to him. All right. Good to see you again. Yeah, same here. All right. Same here. All right. Bye. He's not looking good at all. Babe? Oh? Are you, are you okay? Um... Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. sure? Yeah. So, what is this surprise? Okay. Um... Dinner date somewhere very special. Oh, I like the sound of that. So, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. right, let's okay. go. Who are you? That question should be for you. Who are you? Ha! Goodness gracious. How women have chippened themselves. A man loses his wife. You didn't give him time to mourn. And you're here sleeping in his house. Excuse me. A piece of advice for you. Get yourself out of this house before his late wife's twins meets you here. Just so your stupid head can slap you when I shut the door in your face. In case you don't know, I am... Please, get out. Mm -hmm. Let's talk it out, I'm sorry. Please. Out! Please, I'm sorry. Please. Stupid. Just, uh, I'll talk to you later. It's okay. How did she just pick up the damn phone? Mm -hmm. You cool? 
Oh yeah, I did. It's your birthday and I'll do anything just to make it memorable. Given all you've been through this year, babe. I miss her so much. I know. Hey, listen. I am here. I'll always be, okay? Even if it means having a face surgery just to look like you, I'll do it. So you see me every day, okay? Thank you so much. Thanks for being such an amazing husband. The pleasure is mine. Oh, Ted. I knew he was going to call. You should take it. No, I'll call him later. Oh, come on. Baby, it's his wife's posthumous birthday, and I guess he's going to call to wish you a happy birthday, too. I know, but I'll call him later. You take the call. No. I'm calling you, sir. Come on. What? No, no, what? stop. <laughs> Hello, Ted. Yeah, fine. She's she's fine. She's here. Mm. Speak to her. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hi. Hi, Ted. Mm. Hi. Hi, Ted. Hey, baby. Uh, I miss you. Look, I'm sure she misses you too. Um, can I call you later? I'll call Simon if you hang up. Uh, <laughs> you not do that, right? I want to see you. Oh, uh, no. How's Daniel? I hope you're taking good care of him. I want to see you, Angelica, or I will come over. Uh, no. <clears throat> No, oh, all right, thank you. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Uh, uh, just, um, they can join us for dinner tonight, okay? You should bring Daniel along. Uh, Ted, uh, bring Daniel along. <laughs> Come on. So, I thought, okay, I'll call, you, I'll call you later. Yeah, that's right, a nice man. I'll see you tonight, baby. What's that? Don't do that. I'm sorry. Come on. They are family as well, okay? And um, it wouldn't be nice for them to spend Audrey's birthday alone, right? Mmm. Don't worry. It's time for you to have a taste of my wonderful meal. <laughs> ah! mm. See it? You're okay. gonna confirm my cooking skills today? Are you ready? Blow my mic. <laughs> I'm about to blow your mind, baby. <sighs> Someone is following me. Uh, okay, okay. Mm. Um, 
So, did you find him? Yes, my men are on his trail as we speak. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, um, excuse me, please. Yeah? What? Oh, okay. Run a check on it. Good. Um. I I'm sorry they lost him, but we have his plate number. Oh, okay, that can be useful, right? Yeah, immensely. Okay. So, uh, tell me, how long has this been going on? Um, I don't really know, but recently there's a strange number that always calls me. And I noticed that there's always someone looking around. Oh, I see. And uh, who else knows about this? For now, it's just you. Good. Um, I'd advise that you tell your family members to watch their back. Okay. Right. Okay. We will catch this fellow of a guy. We definitely will. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Yeah, no problem. We're just doing our job. Thank you you too. Have a nice day. came back here. Um, Ada, I'm so sorry for the way I spoke to you the other day. But you did. Yeah, I'm sorry. See, I came to see Ted and to know how they are doing. His wife was my good friend. <coughs> so? Can I please Talk to Daniel, please. Okay, ma'am. Hey, buddy. Auntie Tewa. And how are you? I'm fine. How was school today? Fine, Auntie. Okay, uh, please, can I spend some time with him? So where is your daddy? He went out. Oh, good. I bought something for you. Here, this is for you. You'll like it, okay? And what do you say? Thank you. Good boy. And this is for you. You must really be sorry. Yes, I am. You like him, don't you? <sighs> you don't have to hide it. I can see it more from this gesture. Mm -hmm. I'm not pushing. I just want to be here for them. Mm. No problem, so you just have to work hard. I shall know he needs this distraction now. He's been a wreck since I came here. It's fine. I will try my best. Okay. So. What are we writing? You do your homework? Yes. Good boy. <laughs> can you see that? He's so smart. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, ma'am. Hey. How are you doing, bro? Simon. You're welcome, yeah? Oh, thank you for inviting me. Oh, come on, it's nothing. Yeah. Huh? Where's Daniel? Oh, he's at home. I left him with my sister. Oh, come on, you should have brought him. He was asleep when I was coming. I didn't want to wake him up. Oh, it's okay. Oh, is that the leaker? Oh, here she goes. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi, you are beautiful. Thanks. Of course, she is. Thanks. Come here. Mm. Oh, I, uh, I got you something. Oh, you didn't have to bother. No, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, All right let's, um, let's sit down. Yeah. Oh, So why didn't you come with Daniel? <laughs> yeah, actually he said um, Daniel was already asleep before he left the house. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, Daniel, hope he's doing well in school. Mm, yeah. Mm. He's doing great. <laughs> Who made it? Did you make it yourself? It's nice. 
Lord. Actually, yeah, he ordered it from one of the best bakers in town. Mm -hmm. I just wanted my wife to relax, you know. So. You know, she's good at it. Well, <laughs> mm. you like it? It's good. <laughs> I think someone has been following me. What? Who? Oh. I don't know, but he followed me around town today and I was very, very scared. And I'm just getting to hear about it? Well, I didn't think it was something to be worried about until today. And I felt it was actually something to be worried about. Are you sure it's not the, the Victor guy? Victor. Victor, if Victor dare lay a hand on you, I will kill him myself. I'll kill him myself. No, but um, Detective Tunde already sent some boys to follow him. So I don't think there's something to be too worried about. Okay, I just hope they don't do anything stupid before they get to them. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, Do you stop, want water? Stop. Are you okay? Are you okay? I I want to go home because can you drop me home, please? Uh, Angelica, you? my stomach. Oh. Uh, okay, let me just get my pack. Oh, don't, 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 don't worry. Let me let me get it for you. Ted, are you okay? Ted, are you okay? What? Do you want water? Let's How you like it? You know, Chris. Ted. Ah! Ted. Oh. Ted. Just, okay. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let me. Let me Ted. Let's go. Let's go. Taxi to bring you back home, okay? I cannot believe you do this to me on my birthday. I just want to talk. Then talk. While I call my husband to get me right, I'll take me back home. The deal was you do as I said. And I'm doing what you said. I just brought you to your house without my husband. But we haven't talked yet. They talk, said what I talk. If Let's you want to talk, talk. Let's go upstairs to my house. I promise I will not bother you after this. Let's go. What is it? Angelica, I'm so sorry for everything that has happened between the both of us. I truly don't want to hurt you. Then let me go, please. Audrey was my everything. She was my life. She was the very air I breathed. I never thought I was going to lose her. I never thought she was going to die. The thought of it just drives me crazy and makes me want to kill myself. You kill yourself. What will happen to your son, Daniel? Hmm? I know. And that's why I'm so desperate for peace. And I only feel that peace when I'm with you. Ted. I'm grieving as well. I am hurting. 
But then you just keep reminding me of my sister's death over and over and over and over again. Forgetting the fact that she is my sister, my twin. I am hurting. I beg you, please, just let me go, please. I beg you, just let me go, I beg you. I wish I could. I mean, I want to. I wish I could. But just you stop are it. so damn beautiful. You're so beautiful. Did you know who I do? Oh, come on. You're so beautiful. Brother? Is that your wife's sister? What are you doing up? What are you doing here? You shouldn't be doing this. What would people say? You shouldn't be up. You should be sleeping. Brother, she's married. This is wrong. You know what? Just, just go to bed. Go to bed. Go, go, go inside. Go to bed. Yeah, um, uh, Ted, uh, what's up? Yeah, I, I, I've been trying to call my wife, but she isn't picking up. She left already. But I told her I was going to order a taxi for her to bring her home. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't know when she left. Oh, God. Um, okay, um, that's fine. I'll, I'll just keep trying. Is missing. What? Yes. Missing? How? She, she, she took Ted home last night and she hasn't been back since then. This, this is serious. And what did Ted say? That, that, that she left almost immediately. I've been awake all night waiting for her to return. Please, officer, help me find my wife. Please. It's all right. We will find her. We will do our best. Just, just don't worry. Thank you very much. I'm just, counting on you. Just, just calm down. All right. Sorry. Thank you very much. All right. All right. See you. I'll keep in touch. Okay. Yeah, sure. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm about taking Daniel to school. I came to see Ted. Is he in? Yes. Come on, Ada. I thought we were cool. We are cool. 
I'm just upset with my brother. What did he do? Okay, see, if it's because he's still grieving about his late wife, I think you should just give him some time. He will come around, okay? Time is dead. Nigga is already screaming his dead wife. Hey, hey. hey Ada, just go back. Yo, just it's go. The just get out. I'm not your sister. <sighs> you shouldn't be in here. This is where I want to be. What is this? See, Ted, I love you. I have always loved you. But I'm not the one who reached for her friend's man. But you are. She's dead. No disrespect. I just want to be here for you. In case I don't want you to be that for me. Because of Angelica. Yeah. Your sister told me. See, I'm not judging you. I think you see Audrey in her. Please. Let me be there for you. Let me be yours. I promise. I will keep your secret if you can take me. If you can make me yours. Now you have listened to me and listen very carefully. <laughs> I will never, ever be yours. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hi. Um, I'm fine. Um, is your wife Angelica around? I went to her shop, but she isn't there. Um, no, she's not. Been trying to reach her on phone, but it's not connecting. I need to talk to her like now. Now, now, now. Um, she's um Take the message to her. Tell her to leave Ted alone. What did you say? You are not deaf. I said tell her to leave Ted alone. Like seriously, I don't understand. Your wife is sleeping with her late sister's husband. What kind of a woman does that? Eh? Hey, Joe, I'm begging you. Tell her to face you and leave Ted alone for the singles like us. Rubbish. I say relax. It includes your questions. Now, I'll put the gun away and answer all your questions if you promise to behave. Now, I didn't kill your sister. Ted did. That's not possible. I know you won't believe me. I've been trying to get your attention all this month, but he was everywhere. 
but I'll prove to you that he did it. How? This is Victor. The guy that was accused of killing my sister. But he told me everything and he told me that you did it. Me? I killed my wife. I killed my wife. I loved Audrey. But you've been sleeping with my wife. Does it matter? Who told me about it? Is it true? You've been cheating on me? Oh, shut up, Mr. Simon! You got this boy rolling. And that is why this psycho here killed his wife in the first place. What? What are you saying? Wait, you, 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 is there something you're hiding? You didn't tell me everything. What are you saying? What is going on here? It, it, it wasn't supposed to come from me. See, the plan was to take you and then make him feel you were here. And that Ted lied to him. That will eventually bring him here for us to have this party. But see, God's work. He brought him here for us to get to the bottom of this. God's work. Ghost what? My what? Um, Stay where you are and answer her question. Did you kill her sister or not? See? Look at him. The monster I saw. It's true. Now, but before then, I was a cleaner at a D Star Hotel for about a year. When one faithful day, I was told to service an apartment for some regulars. I didn't know why the receptionist let them in, but to me, it was my lucky day. Hey. Oh, Joy. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. <clears throat> Audrey. We need to stop this. Please. I mean, I, I'm getting married to your sister very soon. I was going to leave, but after listening to Mr. Simon say that, I knew I couldn't. I couldn't let them know that someone else knew what they were up to. Look, you don't have to worry yourself. I already got what I wanted. You're pregnant. I am. <laughs> I'm two months pregnant, and that's why I asked you to come. What if Ted finds out? Don't worry yourself about it. Ted will not find out. And even my sister, she will not. Trust me, it's just you, I and the doctor that knows that Ted is sterile. Thank you so much for doing this for me. At least I know that I'm going to have a child from within. Thank you. It's <laughs> okay. Come here. Mm. I don't know why, but I recorded everything just in case. I was sacked from my job and there was nothing for me to do, so I decided to look for something to make money out of. Wait, wait. What is it you're saying exactly? You said Ted killed my sister. Meanwhile, you are the one blackmailing her. And my husband fathered her child. What is it you're saying? Where are you now? I've been standing here for over 10 minutes. Look, in five minutes, I don't see I will leave this place. Anything that wants to happen, let it happen. Just do your worst. Huh? Are you sure you came alone? I came alone. Why would I come with someone? Is it not my secret I'm trying to protect? Why would I come with someone? Please come, let's talk about this thing once I need to leave here. This place is very dark. Where are you now? Ted? What? Why? Baby, 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 what are you doing here? Why? Uh, Why? Why? Look, I, 
I, I, I, I, I can explain. I found this. And I was hoping you were going to come clean about it. But to think that you have more secrets than I thought. Why? Who no. is the father of that boy you called my son? Who? Uh, Who? Uh, Simon. I, 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 I can't explain. It's not. So you, you got your sister's husband to impregnate you. You got your sister's husband to impregnate you. I was so scared. I was so worried. I, I, I didn't want the secret to, to go out. I just, please, I'm so sorry. I thank you. I'm Who is it? Huh? Who is Victor? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm asking you a question. Who is? Who is Victor? We can talk about about this. Nate, please don't go. I beg you, don't go. I beg you. Look, I'm so sorry. I did it for us. I did it because I love you. I just don't want that secret to go. It's okay. It's to okay. go okay. I'm so sorry. Look, look, okay, I'm, so sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's okay. 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 Easy, easy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have never seen anything so gory like that in my entire life. If you move, I'll blow your brains off. How dare you? How could you? She was only trying to protect you from your disability and from me. She dealt with me alone because she didn't want to destroy the happiness you had. I am not at fault. I'm not. The pain I felt, it was unbearable. And I couldn't control my pain, I couldn't control the anger I felt inside. There's no justification for taking human life. You should have just walked away or even divorced her. And you should have found a different job. Why did you kill her and then frame me up for it? Are you guys ready? Yes. Wow. 
Charlie Boy. Ai, tinha que dar. My daughter, I, I, I want to ask you for forgiveness. And I have a lot of things to say to you. But because of Daniel, he's too small to hear a lot of things. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Forgive my son and I. In any way that we have wronged you, we are sorry. Oh, I, I, so that Daniel can have a better life. Okay? Please, Baram. Yes, yeah, sorry, okay? Babe, I know I'm sorry will never be enough to express how much I, I regret everything I've done. No justification can heal this, I know. Please. No, don't, don't, don't. Okay. Please. Don't do that. Please, let's overcome this together. All right, I, I don't care what happened between you and Ted. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you all. We love you. <laughs> Hi, uh -huh. Angelica. Uh, you know that thing I, I, I discussed with you? I have to take Daniel with me. Let him come and stay with me for now till both of you, you know, get used to each other again. Then he will come back. <laughs> I love you, I love you too. Hey! <laughs> hey!